Did you get that? He says, where two or three are gathered in my name, he says, I'm there. When you say, I am there, what does it mean? Not just I'm present. He says, this is an authentic gathering. You know, my presence is here that makes it a lawful gathering. Now we can legislate. He says, a quorum is formed. Where two or three are gathered, we can bind, we can restrict. You know the meaning of the, the, the word church also means, um, um, in the Greek, it actually means a body, a legislative body. That's actually means. It also means a legislative body. Yeah. And when you say ecclesia, they actually refer to the legislative body. And when you see the authority that God gave to the church, you will see that that, that authority is a legislative authority. He says, whatsoever you bind on earth is bound in heaven. He says, whatsoever you lose on earth is loosed in heaven. You know, then he gave us a name. He gave us an authority that we may exercise dominion. You know, we may exercise dominion. Then look at that. He says, he says that the whole world, we know by faith that the words, the ages were framed by the rhema of God. We know they were framed by the rhema of God. And pastor has told us the rhema of God is not the word God is speaking. No, it's the word that comes out of the mouth of faith. The word that comes out of men and women inspired by the spirit of God. Now they begin to legislate. They begin to say, this thing cannot stand in my city. This thing cannot stand in my town. This thing cannot stay in my family. This thing, I refuse this. I reject this. I oppose this. He said, as they say this, they frame it. As they say it, they frame it. So they create times and seasons. On um, um, two years ago. But that's when they told us that we can never meet like this. You know? They told us that, oh, forget about school. He said, get used to the new normal. And we said, no, not this your normal. We will not agree. Then the church began to legislate laws. Began to put laws into place. Didn't you read the scripture? It says in Psalms, it says, it says, everyone that rises up against you in judgment, it says, you shall condemn. So the ecclesia is not just a gathering where people lift up their hands and just worship God. No, you are educated so that you can legislate. You can bring in new laws. You can bring in new seasons. You can bring in new eras. You know, when a church, a cell, a group of Christians come into a place, maybe that place has been wrecked with violence. Do you know you can start legislating? You can just start and say, no, we have come in now. The church has come in now. Before the church was not here, but now the church has come and we want things to change. We want things to change. I want you to take note of it. He says, whatsoever you bind on earth, you know, some people read it and say, they, they try to want to make it say what he didn't say. He said, whatever you bind on earth, make sure it's what has been bound in heaven. No, that's not what he says. He said, whatever you bind on earth, is the heaven backs you. That's what it means. You know, the key is not in heaven. The key is with you. The key is with the church. So when you see something you don't like, get two or three people say, come, let's legislate. Let's put a new law. Yeah. You know, that's how you change things in the country. You don't change things in a country by being emotional. No. If there's a loophole in the law, what you do as a legislator is you go and create a new law. You create a new law. You know, you create a new law. You come in and superimpose the will of heaven. You know, you come in and superimpose the will of heaven. Um, some, some time ago, we were organizing crusades and one of our pastors told me, he said, oh, we wanted to organize a crusade, but in the area where we need to organize this crusade, um, a certain militant leader said nobody should come out. I said, was he talking to you? He said, eh, Pastor, we, we couldn't meet. I said, what do you mean? I, I couldn't relate with it. You know, I couldn't relate with it. You know, when you have the spirit of faith, uh, when, when Goliath speaks, Maybe, maybe as you were going, if Goliath didn't say anything, it does not move you. But as soon as Goliath starts talking, you say, who, who is this uncircumcised Philistine? All of a sudden, you, you have fight. Who understands what I'm saying? I mean, you think of it, Pastor Chris said, ah, I came out of the church because you started saying things that did not make sense. He said, when you were talking, I stayed in my church and was doing okay. As soon as you came, 
Fauci and the rest of them. He started talking nonsense. I said, wait, who, who is talking? Who is talking? So I said to him, I said, what did you do? He said, hey, Pastor. I said, no, you're, now you're going to have that crusade. And now you're going to have it in that town. You know, I said, you are going to have it in that town. They said, you shouldn't come out. So you're going to, I said, I'm not even concerned about you. So a militant leader, a court will hold a whole town. Hold, he'll hold a whole town and say nobody should come out. Hi. I said, no. I said, you need to organize it. You know, I said, you need to organize the crusade. And I said, don't do it, don't do it inside. I said, you have to do it outside. I said, this one, he has looked for trouble. You know, they need to come. So they started setting up. And while they were setting up, some boys came. And as we we're trying to, he came out. He said, who are you looking for? You know, they tried to make some noise. He told his brother, and said, stay there. And they fixed the thing. After a while, they left. As people saw them, their confidence and boldness in setting up, gradually they started coming out of their rooms, started coming out of their houses, you know, gradually. Before the meeting was one hour in, people were everywhere now. People gained the boldness. You know, don't let anybody legislate a law, an unlawful law, in an environment where God has put you. <laughs>